Okay, picking up where we left off, um, I skipped any data cleaning steps before this model, and I want to make one right now. There are lots of ways to clean data. In this particular data set, it was already clean in many ways. There was no missing data. Um, although we could probably identify some outliers, there weren't a whole lot. Um, but I'm gonna start in particular with adjusting for skewness. So take a look here at the original data set and notice that when we examine the insurance charges feature, it's highly skewed. Now, children uh, is also highly skewed, but this is an ordinal or a, a discrete variable with, with only whole numbers here, whereas charges is continuous. Uh, this is a good place to begin. I want, to, I want to try two things on this data set. I want to make a, a mathematical transformation to improve charges. And then let's convert children to a, uh, a, a, a categorical variable. A cate uh, so these are no longer treated as numeric. Um, so this implies that you know, there may be uh, a large or differences in um, in charges, depending on whether we go from zero to one children versus one to two versus two to three. So let's start here with charges. I want to close this out and let's go and grab. Um, we're gonna make a new, a new run. Now, I could attach this to a new experiment if I wanted to. I'm currently in this insurance charges linear regression experiment, um, or I can make this a new run in an existing experiment. So I'm gonna to choose to keep my existing experiment and simply add uh, some more of these pills. So to do that, we need to get out of this particular run that we're in so that we can go back to the designer and keep authoring it. So let's go back here to designer. Try that again. There we go, and come down here. This is the pipeline we created uh, right here. And by the way, a pipeline, it's a, it's a a portion of an experiment. So an entire experiment can be a pipeline by itself, but we can also pull out portions of uh, pipelines that uh, we can sort of export as reusable sets of pills. Anyway, make, her, make sure that you're here on pipeline drafts. Here's the runs that we we're looking at before. Uh, drafts lets us go in here and start with this and then edit it. So we've got all of our pills back here. Uh, let's come to uh, math operation. There we go. So what I want to do is pull this in here and I'm going to give myself a bit more room to work with. And I want to take this data before it ever uh, gets used for training. And let's make a transformation. Bring this down, bring that one down. And I'm going to put it right here. And pull that one down. Oops, pull that one down. Maybe I have to take this one out first. Yep, that one down here. All right, so we've got our little red uh, triangle saying you've got to make some adjustments to the properties before you can run this. Perfect, no problem. I want uh, some a basic function. In particular, I'm going to use a natural log. In this case, I could use natural log transformation. I don't have any zeros in my data set. If I did have zeros for insurance charges, I would want to use natural log plus one so that I don't get an undefined uh, error when I try and take the natural log of, of a zero. So I will, in this case, I can use that one. It says, which column do you want to apply it to? I'm going to apply it to charges, save. Output mode, do we want to append it, meaning we add a new column, or do we want to do the, uh, replace it in place or just give us the output. I'm going to do append because I want to also show you the importance of including what's called the select columns pill. Sometimes we'll have columns that we don't want to use in a particular run. So I'm going to pull this into here. Looks like I got to delete these each time. Pull that one down to here. Oops, let's try it again. Oh, it thinks I can't run it. Maybe I need to modify this uh, select columns first here. Oh, I've got the wrong one. Select columns transform. I need select columns in data set. There we go. 
I'll leave that error in the video so you can make sure you see the difference between the two of those as well. All right, uh, this is going to say, which columns do you want to keep? Well, before I can get to that point, I'm gonna to need to run this column first uh, so that it can generate the column that I wanna keep. So for now, all I'm going to do is enter uh, all of the columns that are already in here. We should give me, can I do it? No. The old designer would give me the ability to select all of them at once, which is kind of nice. I'm sure they'll, no, that's not what I want. I'm sure Microsoft will uh, make modifications to this as we go along. Children, smoker, region, charges. Now I'm going to change this one. I could have pulled this pill in second, but I'll, I'm going to change it once I run this pill right here. So uh, I'm going to see, will it let me run up just to that point like it used to? Nope, sure enough, it won't. So I'm going to have to run this and then make a change to this pill after. So I'll go ahead and submit that. I'm going to call this uh, LN transform charges. Uh, select existing. Yep, we'll keep it all here in this one. Let that run. Okay, it's still running, but I wanted to see an experiment here. Now that the apply math operation is done, the new variable for the math transformed version of insurance charges has been created. And I'm wondering if I can just cancel right now and have this stay completed. So it's in the process of canceling. Okay, good. Runs canceled but yet this got completed. What that means, let me show you the output now. Preview data, result data set, is it gave me my previous column charges, but also a new one that has been natural log transformed. And look at the difference in histogram. So here we're very right skewed, and now we've got a much more normal looking uh, curve. We might have some, a little bit of kurtosis problem there with that being too high, but that's not an issue really for the predictions. So we're not going to worry about that. And I want to use this version of charges instead of this one. So I'm going to click over here on select columns. Let's see if we can change uh, run settings or no, nope, that's not what we want. This one's still stuck on running. I wonder if that's going to give me a problem. Let's close that one out. Click on this again. Parameters run. No. Oh, <laughs> right here. Sorry. So I'm going to delete charges and click in here again. And now it shows me that natural log of charges that I created in the pill above. So let's save that one. And now it's ready to use that. The only other place I have to change it, remember, is down here in train model where I'm currently using charges. Uh, charges is no longer in the data set because this select columns pill has removed it from those. It's basically a filter that removes the pills, the features that we don't want from coming through here. So I'm going to get an error if I leave this with charges since it doesn't exist after this pill gets run. So I'm going to click on it, edit this, and change it from charges to, come on, there we go, LN charges, save. All right, let's add one more data cleaning step. Um, I am going to try, actually I'll save it. Let's run this one for now and I'll save it for the next video because I wanna see if, uh, I wanna see how much it improves when we make a modification to children. So let's go ahead and submit this thing. And I believe since that first pill has been run, um, no, nope, it's gonna rerun it over again anyway. I was hoping that it would keep it cached and not, uh, oh, it did, good. It used the cache version of apply math operation and picked up right down here. So in the old version, it was pretty easy to click on a pill and say run starting here, run to this pill only. Um, we can't do that here, but we can kind of get around it by just canceling our, our run after the pill, canceling our submit job after the pill that we need has been run. And look, it even has, oh, I like that little recycle symbol we used from a previous run. All right, so I'll pause now and let this finish. All right, looks like that took about six and a half minutes to complete. Let's see if this turned out any better this time. I'm just gonna go straight to evaluate model, right click, evaluation results. 
Okay, it looks like it took about six and a half minutes once again to complete. Uh, let's go ahead and go down to evaluation results again, right click, preview data. All right, let's first start with our R squared. Looks like we went from about 73% up to almost 76%. Not bad, makes an improvement. Uh, but take a look at these. Before we were looking at root mean squared error and it was about $6,100. It's how it's a measure of how off our predictions are on average in dollars in the same scale that the label came in. And now we're down to 44 cents. Well, that's only because once we added this apply math transformation, the scale of charges dropped considerably because we did the natural log. And so this is on the natural log scale. What this means is when it comes time to publish this as an endpoint, we would delete evaluate model and then add another apply math operation here after score model and then reverse it. Take the scored labels and, and use an exponent raised to the score label transformation to uh, put it back into a normal scale for our predicted amounts. Or you could also do it on, on the programming side for whatever application calls this uh, web service or calls this, this pipeline. Okay, uh, let's stop this here and then we'll make one more transformation after.